looks like your mother-in-law moved in on you. Some of, you, some of you look like she said she's going to stay another week. She did. Hallelujah. Sam looks so sad tonight. His mother law moved in on him. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, God is good. One of the greatest things, the, the greatest thing that ever happened to you was the day you got saved. I, I, I tell you, one of my pet peeves in my life is people who whine and cry and snot and sob around about how rough it is serving God. That is just about as crazy as it gets. I tell you, the greatest day of your life was Amen. the day God saved you. My God, you were on the road to hell. Amen. You were lost. You were undone. Amen. And God, in His mercy, Picked you out of the mire. Put your feet on a rock. And establish your going. And put a song in your heart. And gave you an inheritance among the sanctified. My God. What a blessing to be saved and know God. Hallelujah. Well. I guess my honey bunny is going to sing here tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's, I've, I've been telling her honey. What are you going to sing? What are you going to sing? I, it's about like that guy, what young preacher was preaching his first message, and he he uh, he read his text, and he reared back. He was really nervous, and he said, "Tonight, he said, I'm going to preach. On behold, I come quickly." And he rocked the old pulpit forward, and he forgot his next verse, so he rocked back again. He said, I said tonight, I'm going to preach. On the whole, I come quickly. And he rocked forward again. Tipped the old pulpit up again. And he forgot to lie. And so he ran back for the third time. It was supposed to really happen. And he said, I tell you tonight, I'm preaching on the whole, I come quickly. And when he rocked forward that time, he went a little too far. And the pulpit fell over. And he rolled right down and landed right in the lap of a lady sitting on the front row. <laughs> And he said, oh, honey, he said, Lord, I'm sorry. He said, please forgive me. He said, I mean, didn't mean to do it. She said, that's okay, honey. She said, you warned me three times you was coming. <laughs> so anyway, God is good. Tonight from Psalm chapter 13. Psalm chapter 13 tonight. The psalmist David said, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? From me? How long will I shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemies say I have prevailed against thee. Him and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word tonight. I thank you for all the songs and all that's been said and done. I pray, God, that you would help me tonight and that you would touch us and give us just exactly what we need in this meeting tonight, that some soul would be touched and strengthened by the hand of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If the Lord would help me tonight, I'd, I'd like to preach a little while. But when God turns your sob into a song. Hallelujah. 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 When God turns your sob into a song. Hallelujah. I would say tonight that most all of us here have been 
where David was. And listen. It seemed to him. That God. Had. Forgotten. It seemed to him. That the enemy. Was exalted. Over him. And he said Lord. How long is it going to be? How, how long is this going to be? That you're going to hide your face from me? How long, oh God, are you going to forget me? How long, oh God, will you let my enemies exalt themselves over me? And destroy me? Oh my God. I believe he was sobbing. As he cried, oh God, consider and hear me, O oh Lord, my God, lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemies say I have prevailed against him. Oh, and those that trouble me, rejoice when I am moved. Oh, I tell you, the psalmist David is sobbing. There is a cry in his heart. And I, I feel like tonight, I, I felt in my soul. I feel like that maybe some of you here have said, God, you have forgotten me. And there are times as we go through the valley and as we walk through the trials of life and as the storms continue to batter our soul and it seems as if the long night will never end. Amen. When it seems that all of those that have exalted themselves against you are rising and you're falling. When it seemed that there is no hope and you've cried and it seems that God does not hear. But the first thing I want to tell you tonight is this, that God has not forgotten you. Woo! Isaiah said, can a woman forget her sucking child? He said that, uh, that she should not have compassion on the son of a womb. Yea, they may forget. Yet will I not forget thee, because I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Hallelujah. I want to tell you tonight, whatever your problem and whatever your situation, however far you felt forgotten by God, I want to tell you no farther than the hand of God, because he got you engraven on the hand of Almighty God. He's got your name written on the palm of his hand. Oh, hallelujah. You understand what I preach to you? You say, preacher, how could he have all the people of this church on his hand? Much less me. Uh, how in the world can he have us all listen? Not only does he have everyone in this church uh, that knows him in his hand, he's got the whole world that knows him. All of those that love him are inscribed in his almighty hand. Oh, how can he do that, preacher? Well, you've got to understand that with that hand... He weighs the mountains in scales with that hand. He comprehends the dust in a measure with that hand. He holds the oceans and the rivers in those hands. In those hands, he cast out the stars. I want to tell you, he's got Zion engraved in his hand. He's got you there tonight. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh, glory. My God, my God. It is the devil's plan to make you think God forgot you. It's the devil's plan to make you think God don't care. It's the devil's plan to try to get you to give up. But don't give up tonight because the master has got you in his hands. You're not forgotten. The master knows where you are tonight. Lift your hands and pray for me. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
have got problems. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Woo. I feel overwhelmed. I don't know, preacher man. I just don't know how I'm going to make it through another night. I don't know, preacher man, how I'm going to make it through the rest of this storm. Woo! I tell you how you're going to make it. Because the hand of the Almighty is going to hold you up. The hand of the Almighty is going to guide you. The hand of the Almighty is going to guard you. The hand of the Almighty is going to cover you. You're going to be all right because the Master is still alive. Hallelujah. Oh, sad to say tonight. Sad to say. A mother may forget her child. We see that. That's sad. And that's tragic. Woo. Oh, as much as that seems impossible to me, having had a wonderful mother that loved me, hallelujah, has stood with me through the thick and the thin. It, I, it, it's hard for me to understand that a mother could do that, but it's done all the time. He said a mother may do that. She may forget the child of a womb, but he said, don't worry about me. Woo! He said, don't worry about me. Glory! Don't ever worry about my grace. I've got your grave out in my hands. Hallelujah. Woo! Stay on here. I want to preach to you. Oh, glory. So he says, Lord, Lord, have you forgotten me? Then he says, Lord, how long wilt thou hide thyself from me? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Hear the preacher. I, I'm, I'm guilty. I felt myself at times. And you have too. Lord. Lord. Where are you? The psalmist David said. I looked on. I looked on my left hand. I looked on my right. I went forward. I went backward. But I couldn't find you. You hid yourself from me. I was looking for you. I searched everywhere I could, but I just couldn't find you. Woo! But I know that's not that's not true because the Bible said he is nigh thee, even the word of faith that is in my mouth. Woo! I know that's not true. I know that he's not hid himself from me because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. But I will go with you always, even up to the end of the world. He's not hiding. He's not forgotten. He's the word of faith in your mouth. Just cry out. He knows your cry. He sees your tears. He knows where you are tonight. Woo! I said, hallelujah. You know, I, 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 should, I should have written this down, but anyway, the, the psalmist said, whither shall I flee from thy presence? Huh? Where, where, where shall I flee from thy presence? If I take the wings of the morning, huh? if I make my bed in hell, you know, but, 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 but I always preach that as to the lost, and, and, and it's, I don't think you're misapplying it. But if you read that, I got to read it one day. And I said, no, 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 no. You're not talking to the lost. You're talking to me. Woo! Hallelujah. I can't get away. Under my shuck of a whole I can't run far enough. I, I can't hide deep enough. I, there's not enough water. Oh, glory. You're going to find me. You know where I'm at. You're going to cover me. You're going to carry me. You know where I'm at. Hallelujah. What doest thou here? Well, Lord, I passed this church in Stephen City, and I've had a lot of trouble. 
I about broke down. And I, I just thought I'd run out here. And I'd crawl in this cave. And I'd hide myself. Huh? Come on now. Lord, I've had a lot of trouble. And I didn't think nobody cared. Woo! And so I just thought, I just, I, I'm about to feel like preaching a little bit. Woo! I'm about to feel the unction to function here. Hallelujah. Lord! So I just crawled somewhere. Oh, shut up, suck of the I crawled back in a cave. I crawled back. I said, I'll hide myself. I'll let the darkness cover me. Nobody cares. Nobody's worried about me. Nobody hears my cry. Nobody sees my tears. Hey, I tell you, God knows where you are. I said, God knows where you are. I said, God knows where you are tonight. He's coming where you're at. He's got a word of power. He's got a word of deliverance. He's got a word of victory for you tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and praise him. It's the devil's plan to isolate you. Yes, it is. It's the devil's plan to isolate you. Got it. Hallelujah. He wants to isolate you. I said he wants to isolate you. Uh, he wants you thinking the preacher don't care. Hello? He wants you to think of your lady that the pastor's wife don't care. Are y'all still here? Y'all, are y'all still here? He wants you to think, I got it. He wants you to think no way the church cares. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants you to think no way the church cares about your problem or about your distress. And he wants to hide you. He wants you to get you to hide somewhere. He'll get you to lay out of church. Are you still here? Come on now. He'll get you to crawl over the corner and spend your lifetime crying and licking your wounds of all the trouble that you had. But I tell you, God wants you to stand up. God wants you to come out. Amen. God wants you to live. I said God wants you to live. God don't want you to sob. God wants you to sing in the middle of your trouble and your distress. Hallelujah. Woo. Then he says, then he says, then he says, how long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? I'm going to tell you here right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Some of you right here are dealing with sorrow. Every day that you live and breathe, there's a hurt. That you can't seem to get rid of. There's a sob that seems to cry from your heart. Oh my God. Your world has been turned upside down. My God, it seems like the devil is over the corner laughing and saying, I got you. I took your best friend. I took everything you had. Woo! He said, I'll take your help. I'll take your wealth. I'll take the love of your life. I'll take all that you got. My God, and leave you somewhere crying. I said, leave you somewhere crying. Saying, oh God, have you forgot? Oh God, have you hidden? Oh God, how long is this sorrow going to go on? How long am I going to have to sob? How long am I going to cry? How long am I going to cry myself to sleep? How long, oh God, are the tears going to flow? Woo! Hang on here now. Hang on here now. I'm going to preach to you. If the sword will smile on me. Now listen to me. How long shall my enemies be exalted over me? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I want to tell you. The devil will try to get in your face. 
and laugh at you. The devil will try to get in your face and mock you. The devil will try to get in your face and tell you God don't hear and God don't care while the tears are running down your face and you're crying, oh God, how long, how long are they going to lie on me? Ah, somebody help me preach. How long are they going to run me around? How long are they going to stab me in the back? How long are they going to talk and drag me through the mud? How long are my enemy, is my enemy going to torment me? How long is the devil going to drive me down under my shuckable horse when I felt like I had a message from heaven for this church tonight? It got to the memory to turn your sob into a song. Hallelujah. Just a minute to ask God. a man that was known as the sweet psalmist. He was a man known as the sweet singer. He was the man that played the harp. Oh, come on now. And here's the man that played the harp and helped to drive the spirits, the demon spirits away from Saul. Oh, great God of heaven. Here's a man that played on the harp and touched the hearts of many. But now he's crying. Now he's weeping. Now he's discouraged. Now he feels like God forgot him. Now he feels like God's hit himself. Woo! Hallelujah. He starts with a sob, but he ends with a song. Hallelujah. He said his mercy's going to come, and I'm going to sing. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout. I'm going to dance. I'm going to run. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! I want to preach to you tonight about a few folks in the Word of God. Who started out sobbing and wound up singing. Oh, hallelujah. I said, I want to read to you. I want to preach to you about some folks that started sobbing and ended up singing. Woo! <laughs> hallelujah! Woo. I read about it. First, the woman I want to talk about tonight is a lady by the name of Hannah. Huh? You read about her and Samuel. You're talking about sobbing. There was a woman crying. She said, oh, God, I got to have a child. And she was, she was so distressed. She was in such bitterness of spirit. She was crying so hard that the priest thought she was drunk. And he mocked her lips. And she said, oh, man of God, please don't mistake me for one of the daughters of Belial. My heart is heavy. My heart is full of sorrow. I'm in here praying because I'm broken. Oh, God's forgotten me. God's hid himself from me. I can't seem to find him anywhere. Woo! He said, go thy way. And may the Lord grant thee thy petition. Woo! Huh? Come on now. My God, my God. When she came back <laughs> in the second chapter, what'd she say? Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn <laughs> is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in my salvation. Hallelujah, Hannah. I'm going to turn your sob. I'm going to give you a song for your sobbing. I'm going to give you a song for your tears. I'm going to give you a song for your weeping. Woo! Hallelujah. Y'all know this little baby, don't you? Praise God. What was your name? What's that brother's name? What's Brother Chris, they was crying. They didn't have no children. Woo. And then God.
God gave them a little girl. Woo. Last time I was here, they were rejoicing. They were shouting. Their sobs had turned to song. But that wasn't enough. They always wanted twins. And now if I understand right, am I still on track here? Woo. Am I still on track? Praise God. But they somehow heard that they might even get some twins to raise with this. Hey, what are you trying to say, preacher? All I'm trying to tell you is this. Here, right here is living proof that God can turn your sob into a song. Hallelujah. I said, God can turn your sob into a song. He's a God of might. He's a God of power. He's a God of majesty. He's a God of glory. He's a God that answers prayer. He's a God that don't forget. telling you, just as sure as I'm living here tonight, there's some of you here that's been sobbing. I said, you've been sobbing. And God said, you're getting ready to start singing. tonight preacher I've been in the storm for a long time I understand I said I understand I understand preacher I really do think he's forgotten I understand I said I understand oh hallelujah but I'm going to tell you, God said, God said, the Lord said, I'm going to turn your sobs into singing. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. The Bible said the children of Israel were oppressed by Jabin, the king of Cana, for 20 years. Huh? The Bible said he mightily oppressed them. Hallelujah. Mightily. Woo. And one day a lady sitting under a tree, a prophetess by the name of Deborah. I know my soak on my side. Said, Barak, come here. Get the armies together. <laughs> Woo. We've sobbed long enough. The Bible said they cried mightily. Huh? That they cried mightily. <laughs> they cried mightily unto God. Oh, Jesus. That he had 900 chariots of iron. But never said, Barak, get the armies. Whew. We're going to march. Hallelujah. Glory. And they began to march. Hallelujah. Amen. It got discomfited Jabin. And, and, and uh, what was it? Jael, the king of Heber. And it drove that nail in the, in the uh, temple of that king there, huh? Uh, Jabin, yeah. Drove that nail, took that tent spot. And come on now. My God, hallelujah. And the armies were scattered. And Israel was delivered. Woo. What did Deborah do? The Bible said, then sang Deborah and Barak. <laughs> Woo! They've been sobbing. It's time to sing now. We've been sobbing long enough. Never said Barack. My God, let's sing a little while here. Strike up the band. Roll out the music. Lift up your heads. It's time to sing. Hallelujah. 
She sang praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel. Amen. When the people willingly offered themselves. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. And man, I read. And I love this. I read a man about a man by the name of Jehoshaphat. And the kings of Ammon and the kings of Moab sent him some letters to him and said, we're going to come and we're going to snuff you out. We're fixing to wipe you out. Woo. Devil ever told you he's going to wipe you out? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know he has. He said, you're going down this time. You're not going to make this test. You're not going to stand this storm. You're not going to live through this trial. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. Woo! Jehoshaphat did what everybody ought to do. He headed straight to the house of God. And said, now Lord, that's what they said they're going to do. Here's the letters. And they begin to pray. And they begin to sob. Woo! Hallelujah. But the Lord said, I got a plan. I got a plan. It don't include sobbing, but it does include singing. I got a plan. It don't have any sobbing in it, but it does have some singing in it. Well, great God of heaven. He said, give me some men together and let them sing a song. So come on here. Come on here, brother CQ or Q ball or whatever. Hallelujah. Come on here, brother Jody. Can you sing? You're dry, old man. Come on here, brother Ken. You ought to be singing. Got your little woman in, in Kentucky there. Says she loves you. I ought to quit your sob and start your singing a little bit. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. Wonder why brother Ken's smiling so much. My God, he's done found him a love. He thought he's forgotten it for a second. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, Brother Mike. You can help us sing, can't you? Yeah, come on up here. Praise God. Brother Miles, you can sing, can't you? Come on up here. Praise God. Yeah, come on up here. Woo! Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll sing a verse or two of this song. It don't take real long to learn it. Praise God. We'll try it together. Brother, here's the way it went. He said, you're going to, here's what you're going to do. You're going to say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For his mercy. Endure it. Endure it. Forever. Forever. Woo. Second verse. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For, his For his mercy. Endure it. Endure it. Forever. Y'all got it now? Woo. My God. Anybody else know that song? Huh? Anybody else want to sing that song? How about all of us singing together here tonight? Praise the Lord. For his mercy. Endure it. Forever. Could we sing it again? Praise the Lord for His mercy. Endure it forever. Praise the Lord for His mercy. Endure it forever. Hallelujah. My God, it's time to turn your sob into singing. Hallelujah. God wants to give you deliverance. God wants to give you victory. Lift your hands and praise Him tonight. Woo!
little bit more. Come on, shut her down. His anger endureth but a moment. In his favor, his life weeping may endure for the night, but joy. I said, but joy. The Holy Ghost said joy. The Word of God said joy. The power of God said joy. Cometh in the morning. I see the rays of sunlight breaking through the darkness. I see the rays of darkness breaking the dawn. I see the rays of sunlight breaking over your dark clouds. The Bible said you're going to shout again. You're going to sing again. You're going to rejoice again. But just morning is coming your way. When the Lord <laughs> turned again, the captivity of Zion, we will like them to dream. Uh, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue, our tongue was singing. <laughs> it said we're singing. Woo! <laughs> huh? Then our tongue was filled with sin. Woo. My God. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. My God, are you here? Are you listening to me tonight? Some of you here. You've been waiting for God to turn your captivity. You've been waiting for God to turn your situation around. You've been waiting for God to hear your prayer. You've been waiting through the night for help. You've been looking for the rays of light and all you can see is darkness. You've been praying for a ray of hope and all you seem to find is the night. Hold on my shaka my hasai. Hallelujah. And then you feel like you've been in captivity. You feel like you've been bound and your spirit broken. Hallelujah. You feel like your dreams lie scattered around your feet. The devil says there's no reason to live. The devil says there's no reason to go on. But I got some news for you. The night is about to end. The captivity is about to end. It's about time to sing. I said it's about time to sing. Lift your hands and praise him tonight. Let's stand tonight and get your hands lifted to heaven. Oh, let's stand tonight and lift your hands to heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah! My God, church, we need to break out and sing it! Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God wants to trade your shop for a song. I said, God wants to trade your shop for a song tonight. I want you to sing again. Ah, the devil said you're never going to sing again. But you're singing again. 
I said, but you're singing again. I said, but you're singing again. Hallelujah. The devil said, there's no hope for you. There's no hope for your marriage. There's no hope for your home. There's no hope for your life. But you're singing. I said, you're singing. I said, you're shouting. Why? Because joy has come in your morning. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to shout. Somebody needs to sing. Somebody needs to say glory. By the rivers of Zion, by the rivers of Babylon, we sat down. We wept when we remembered Zion. They that carried us captive required of us a song. They required of us mirth, sing, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. But they said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? <laughs> Woo! Ah. My brother Sam, I read on over a little further where the captives came home. He said, he said, if I ever get signed up, my right hand forget her cutting, huh? But I read about those same people that hung their hearts on the willows and said we can't sing. We, we don't have a song. My God, our song is taken. We're bitter. We're broken. My God, I read about that same captives that came back and when they laid the foundation to the house of God, they got up the instruments. They began to sing. They began to dance. They began to run. They began to shout. My God, I believe God wants to turn your sobs into songs in here tonight. Sister Bobby, that's right, sis. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, Brother Dawn. Woo. Come on here. Been a long captivity. I feel the Holy Ghost. Been a long battle. Sing again. 